Well, I married a golfer. I married into a golfing family and I could see that if I wanted to have any sort of life, I needed to play golf. What changes have you witnessed over your time here as a member? Um, well, when I joined in 73, I was working full time and I joined as a business school which gave me a small time to play with the business girls on Sunday and unless you're on public holiday you couldn't play during the week or certainly on Tuesday. So that's definitely a change. Can you share any memorable moments and milestones that stand out in your time at Manel? Um, well, I, uh, I took me a long time to get my handicap because I had no sporting ability but uh, eventually I got there and uh, to my surprise I won the B grade championship and I won the uh, foursomes on several occasions. One that I'm proud of is with my mother-in-law uh, and all the way round she kept saying I'm too old for this and I, I now feel quite guilty for making her play, but I'm proud that our names are together on the board. In those days, we had two rounds of qualifying and three rounds of match play, um, so it was quite onerous. With the change in society, now you don't have that match play because so many people are working part time. How has the club evolved since you first joined? Well, when I first joined, uh, there were certain as uh, parts of the clubhouse that we couldn't enter. Um, and if we were on the tee ready to hit off and a group of men came up, then we had to step aside for them if they chose to make us. In 1987, the Equal Opportunities Act came up and my husband, who was the then captain, and his committee very quickly moved to enact the provisions and offered full membership to women. So we've had, a, a, and we, within a year, had a, a woman on the full committee. And we've had a woman president of the club and now a woman captain. And I'm really proud of that because I don't think Glenelg, and I don't think Glenelg has got recognition for how forward thinking they've been. It's a great inclusive club now. Is there anybody specific that has played a significant role in shaping the golf club during your time? Oh, look, there are so many people. Um, uh, uh, Probably one person that, uh, I don't really want to single out too many people, but one person was Rhonda Watson. She was such a, uh, uh, such a giving person of her time and her wisdom to the new members. And I can walk onto a tee today and hear her voice because we might have discussed where to stand on the tee. So she was a great person. Another person who uh, has had a big impact in women's golf and that's Kay Nyland because she instituted the uh, tri-golf program when women's golf was looking a bit sad, the numbers were down and that's been really really successful. So there are a couple of people. would you give to those new members, some of those probably coming through the Women's <laughs> Tri-Golf Program who have just joined? Um, I would say don't just play in your own little group. You need to mix around and watch players and play with players who are better than yourself so that you can learn from them. Learn how to, because this, especially at Glenelg, it's a game of strategy and uh, you know, you can learn a lot from more experienced golfers. What are your hopes for the golf club's future? Well, that it continues in the same way and uh, it stays a, 
a strong, inclusive club as it is now. Final question. We recently held the Whitford Trophy. How pleased were you to see Chris and Jay? I was delighted. Um, yes, I, I was out there and uh, saw them win. Uh, it was great to see that. Um, sadly, Tony and I, I think we made the semis or the quarters one year, but we were, never had any success.